Now, when a country severs diplomatic ties with Taiwan, some of the first people to feel the effects of that are students, particularly those studying on scholarships. Now, there are over 50 students from Nauru studying in Taiwan, and 30 of those have scholarships from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Now, whether or not those students will be able to continue studying is still yet to be decided. Now, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has urged any universities in Taiwan with students from Nauru to offer them the care and guidance they need to get through this difficult time. Ming Chuan University has a total of 15 students from Nauru, and this school is going to do everything they can to try and help them. Right now that they, I think it takes time for them to really uh, adjust their steps and think of what they want to do in the future. Most of them, actually all of them are the scholarship students. So they need to, you know, consider how they can continue their schools in Taiwan. Um, sometimes there might be some scholarships, you know, from somewhere else or hopefully, or, you know, their countries might provide some, you know, um, next steps, you know, for them. Yeah, so we will continue, we will just, you you know, try to maintain, uh, I mean, have an open communications with the students and then take care of, of them. Now, Taiwan has steadily been losing diplomatic allies over the past few years and decades. The last one to go was Honduras in 2023. Now, when that happened, uh, Honduran students actually got together. They made groups, uh, they got their parents involved uh, and they petitioned the Honduran government to try and uh, get funding for them to finish their programs in Taiwan if they so wished. Some students actually chose to go over to China to finish their programs there. Now, once the shock for the Nauruan students currently studying in Taiwan has subsided, they will face similar decisions about whether or not they want to continue their studies here if they can, or if they want to go over to China to continue programs there. Eason Chen and Reese for Taiwan Plus.